Hello, my name is Tyler Cobb. I'm a Design Expo Chair for the Consumer Product Manufacturing Enterprise, and this is our submission for the Design Expo 2020. Next, we have Alyssa Meinberg to explain what CPM is all about. The mission and goals of CPM. The goal of CPM is to provide students on campus with the experience of an internship with an industrial corporate company. We do this by providing university research teams and corporately sponsored projects to students who can solve problems that improve the lives of the consumer as well as the manufacturer. Through professional communications, students are imparted skills like accountability, leadership, and persistence. Students can then exercise these skills in labs like the ChemEng UO lab, in university-wide competitions like the Bob Mark Pitch competition, or representing their company at a corporate event. Who are we and what are we made of? CPM is a student-organized, student-run enterprise that is comprised of approximately 70 members from all degree paths and ranks. We currently have six active multidisciplinary teams with project aims based in chemical or mechanical engineering to business management and graphic design. Teams are advised by faculty or corporate mentor throughout their project, but teams are individually led by a peer elected student team leader. Each team is then also led by an advisor on the CPM eboard or the CPM faculty advisor, Dr. Tony Rogers. Hi everyone, I'm Jacob Mishad and I am currently a fourth year chemical engineering student here at Michigan Tech. And I am also the team lead for the biogas team here on Consumer Products Manufacturing Enterprise. A little bit about what I'm gonna be talking about today is I'm gonna be talking about the scope of the biogas project the achievements that we've made, and then next steps that we're gonna take here in the future. So a little bit about the scope is this project is a sustainability project for Michigan Tech's campus, which is taking food waste from the on-campus dining halls and converting it to methane using anaerobic digestion. So looking at some of the achievements that we've accomplished so far over the course of the project is that two years ago, we were able to run trials, and with those trials, they were unsuccessful. And from those unsuccessful trials, we were able to go and identify some design improvements that we could make in order to help the project go along further. And with that, there were a lot of safety issues that we identified. So with that, we have gone through and reconstructed the pilot plant with those safety features in mind and tested those safety features now to make sure that they work. And we have also identified the optimum operating conditions to make sure the plant runs efficiently to produce the 1.6 cubic meters of methane we want per day. Um, some of the next steps that we have, we have to get our job safety assessment approved in order to run trials. Then we will be able to run trials and then run multiple trials to make sure our data looks good. And then identify areas of improvement for our digester design. Thank you for listening. My name is Caitlin Jeffrey, and I'm team lead of the Libby Glassware Improvement Team. We are looking to find a coating for Libby's glassware and ceramics that will improve the resistance to lipsticks, chapstick, and fingerprints. In doing so, we would like it to hold up for wash testing and also not change the visual appearance. This semester, we have performed many tests on the glass that include using a scanning electron microscope to have imaging done, such as the one pictured on the slide. We have also found water and oil contact angle measurements and done multiple wash testings on coated glasses. We have also found a company that is eager to work with us in the future, and we'll delve more into that next semester. Our next steps are to send samples to said company and also perform testing on new results. We would also like to order coatings to campus so we can apply and test ourselves using the SEM entity, contact angle measurements, and wash testing. We would also like to find a company that will work with us to find the coating for ceramic. Thank you for listening. Hi, my name is Kate Schaff. I am the team lead of the Nelco and Ecolab team here at CPM. And our team is working with Nelco's 3D Tracer water treatment technology. So this is a technology that helps Nelco's customers minimize their water usage by maximizing their water efficiency. So our team has focused on this technology um, in a number of ways. We first looked at the variety of functions the 3D Tracer has. We've also gained an understanding of how this technology works through a lot of water chemistry research. And we've also been able to gain some hands-on experience in our unit operations lab. So we've had the chance to run our 3D Trace our unit. Um, but more importantly, we've been focusing on generating new application ideas for the 3D Trace R through a variety of brainstorming ideas. 
um, using flowcharts and different strategies. So moving forward, our team would like to narrow down our large field of new application ideas into a few um, that we are most interested in. With the ideas, we really want to focus in on the details, such as what this new application would bring to the customer, the value added, and then we'd like to choose our best idea moving forward and begin the prototyping process. Hello, I'm Peter Lund, and I'm the team lead of the Mr. Lid team. So the goal of our project is to reduce or possibly even eliminate the use of single-use containers inside of the MUB, trying to replace them with reusable containers. Um, in order to do this, we're, par we're partnered with Sussex Injection Molding and Dining Services. The idea is that students will be able to order food from the MUB and they will receive their food inside of reusable plastic containers instead of the disposable ones that they currently receive them in. Um, this year, our team has been able to accomplish the following. We have established contact with everyone involved. We have designed the Mr. Lake container and we got them manufactured. We have advertised the program and allowed some people to buy into it. And onto that, we've also given some of those people refunds. Um, we've designed the return system. So we've figured out exactly how people are going to return these and how exactly they're going to get washed. We've worked with relevant FDA regulations to make sure that this is even legal to do. And much more that I can't quite think of at this moment. So the program was ready to launch, but it ended up closing down with when we closed down campus. So we postponed it to next semester. So we're, we would be planning on launching at the start of next semester. Another large kind of tackling point of our project is the LCA, the life cycle assessment. And this allows us to directly quantify exactly how much better our program is for the environment than the currently used disposable containers. And it allows us to do this in terms of very real metrics, for example, greenhouse gases, landfill space, and materials required. The next steps would be to launch the program in the MUB next semester, monitor the program to figure out exactly how many times these containers are getting reused, raise awareness for the program, and to improve the program. Thank you. Hello, my name is Danny Martin, and I'm the current team lead for AAA Prosthesis. AAA Prosthetic is currently working to build an affordable, accessible, and authentic lower limb prosthetic for developing countries. It is currently estimated that lower limb amputations will be doubled by the year 2050. AAA aims to meet this through a, an affordable passive design, which means we don't use any kind of electronic components and we are purely mechanical. With that being said, this allows for our current unit cost to be 2376 without labor. AAA has currently worked on finalizing foot and ankle designs as well as running FEA tests on the CAD designs of both the foot and ankle components. Next, AAA aims to begin fabricating a foot prototype as well as complete ankle linear load testing and analyze its data. Also, AAA aims to begin cyclic load testing on both the ankle and the foot component, as well as a gait analysis of the prosthetic as a whole. AAA is also working to build relationships with Northwestern University as well as the Range of Motion Project to help get our product into developing countries and help impact the world. My name is Katie Lahninen and I'm the current team lead for the Commercial Keg Cleaner Project. My team has successfully designed and built a semi-automated prototype cleaner that uses a PLC control system. This unit has been made within the established price point of $4,000, which is well under current market options, ranging from $10,000 and up. The next steps for our project include finalizing the individual run times within the cleaning cycle to ensure a clean keg every time integrating a permanent emergency stop button, and finishing the build documentation based off of the final testing results. After completing these next steps, our keg cleaning concept will be ready to post as an open source idea for craft breweries in need of a cost-efficient, semi-automated keg cleaner. This slide shows some of the companies that CPM has worked with in the past. It's extremely important to us that our students get the best experience they can, and working with real-life companies is the best way to do that. Um, 
For the future, we have a lot of projects in the works. One of these is a biodiesel project that will produce uh, diesel from food waste on campus. And another one of these is a project that's working with physical therapy patients that have had total hip or knee replacement surgeries um, and improving their recovery. Thank you for taking your time to watch our submission. Um, yeah.